Alrighty, folks. We're not having technical difficulties again. Uh, that's why the post is not up. The post is not up because I've been hospitalized for the past week. So, I, uh, pinched a nerve in my shoulder so bad that my arm went numb. And it scared the crap out of me so damn bad. Plus, my chest was hurting a little bit. I, I kind of thought I was having a heart attack. Um... But I knew I wasn't because I had the pain all the time in my left shoulder. Um, so, yeah. So the reason why, so the reason why I spent the week in the hospital, though, actually I spent about three days in the hospital. Um, the reason why is because they, the doctor, the ER doctor, um said that my left arm going numb could be a mini stroke. So he wanted to do a CT scan of my head to see if there was like plaque buildup in major arteries coming from my heart into my head. There's four of them, two up front, two in the back that come up from the heart and go into the brain. So I said, okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's let's do what we need to do to get this done. And um, and of course, I wasn't having a heart attack. It just, it, it, like I said, it was a pinched nerve. Um. Anyway, he we went and did the CT scan, and come to find out that I do have plaque buildup in my arteries and even in my head. So they diagnosed me with TIA, which. I guess apparently the stroke community has just changed over the definition of TIA. So the definition of TIA now is, is that you are at the highest possible level of having a stroke. The question is, when are you going to have a stroke? So I wound up... They, they put me on the stroke ward just in case, and I wound up talking to the um, uh, to, talking to a neurosurgeon who is he specializes in neuroscience and strokes. And uh, so when I, he asked me to explain to him everything that happened, I did. I talked about my arm just my arm going numb, stuff like that, so on and so forth. That's when he sat there and said, well, you did not have a stroke. Your arm going numb uh, is probably because of a pinched nerve, because I do have shoulder damage. Um, uh, I do have a lot of damage to my shoulder, and so I do have a little bit of nerve damage also. And so he sat there and said that strokes, when you have a stroke, because the right side of your brain affects the left side or does everything for the left side and the right side of the brain or the left side of the brain does everything for the right side. Um, if you have a stroke from the top, if you were to split your where whatever side you have the stroke on, if you split your body in half from the top of your head to the bottom of your foot is what's going to be affected. And so, and according to imaging, all the blockage is on the left side anyway. So if I did have a stroke, something on my right side uh, would have gone numb. Or, you know, at least my whole right side of my body would have started, you know, doing something like that. And that never happened. All that happened was my left arm went numb, and that is it. So the neurosurgeon, 100% sure that I just pinched a nerve. Which I'm pretty sure of it too, because actually right about right here in the joint, um, there's uh, a nerve. And I remember being in the ambulance, my shoulder just started hurting all of a sudden after my arm went numb. And then I just had massive joint pain. And then when I, I stuck my hand about right here and I start rubbing, boy, can I feel everything through my arm. So I, I believe... I'm satisfied with the pinched nerve in my shoulder. Um, the fact is, is that, um, so I, I didn't have a stroke, but 
we, we caught it in time. Um, the only bad part about it is, is that I have, uh, is that I have, uh, hereditary high blood pressure and my blood pressure was pretty high while I was in the hospital, which is another sign that you're going to have a stroke really soon. Hold on, sweet pea. I'm talking to my phone. And, um, so, yeah. So, my blood pressure was really high. And so, the, uh, so there was two doctors I had to deal with. The neurosurgeon and then the doctor that's in charge of the stroke ward who was actually in charge of releasing me. Because my blood pressure was so high that it, uh, that she wouldn't release me, which is fine, you know, that's, that's fine, so we played with some meds, we played with some meds, and got my blood pressure down, and I was able to finally come home, um, now, since I've been laying in the hospital for three days, and sitting on these videos, I should have just had Marie bring me everything, so at least I had something to do in the hospital because pretty much all I did was slept and watched movies here and there on my iPad when I could have done all the editing and got a video up today. But I also need to take care of myself too. So um, so video's not going to be up today on Friday, which so everybody can see that it is. Whoops. Wow, that's really bad. There we go. May 7th. Friday at 1544 or 1244. Oh, I forgot the front camera reverses everything. That's right. Okay. Well, whatever. It's current day anyway. Anyway, um, uh, we're going to go work on the bus today. I'm, I'm bringing the youngin with so he can do all the work. And uh, I'm going to do some work, but I'm going to take it easy. Uh, but anyway, I should be able to get everything. I've been working on, on editing the video now, trying to get it up today. But I've got three hours of footage i got to work through. So that's going to take some time. I should be able to get the video up Saturday, if not Sunday. Um, but it will be up soon, as soon as I can get it done. So anyway, that's the story. That's what's going on. Y'all have a good one. And uh, I'll see you next week.